Unicorn Horn with Encapsulated Glitter, Dipping Powder and Gel Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this unicorn nail art design. So it's a, there's a lot of sparkle, there's a lot of glitter in here, there's some encased glitter and dipping powder, which is a technique that I kind of played around with a little while ago and I decided I'd try it again. I love the way it turns out. I, the glitter looks phenomenal encased in the dipping powder, which is kind of a nice thing because it's something that you couldn't really do unless you had acrylic nails until I just decided to try this and it worked. And this is from uh, Beauty Big Bang, so I'll put a link to that in the description box below, so check that out. If you guys like unicorn I have done several unicorn videos in the past and I will put links to those in the description box as well So don't forget to check that out and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well Begin by painting your thumbnail teal your index with light aqua and your pinky with a nice pink And so then these are the glitters that I will be showing you They're really quite large circle glitters and they are gorgeous. They pick up the light amazingly I mean the the pink ones and the teal ones are a little bit holographic, so if they get hit by sunlight, they shimmer a lot. So I'm going to dehydrate and prime the nail that I'm going to be doing this dipping in, then apply a layer of the base and then dip that into clear powder, apply another layer of base, and then this time I'm going to dip it into the glitters, but not all the way because as you see, it'll get a lot of them on there and you end up brushing most of them off anyway. So then take a little gel brush and sort of arrange them the way that you want them. As you can, like I said, there's a lot, a lot of them on there and I'm basically just removing them, spreading them out. Uh, making it so it's a nice mix between the three colors just kind of fixing it the way I want it once I have them I like the way they look on there then I'm going to dip that into clear and then I'm going to apply two more coats of the dipping powder on top of it so here's the first coat another layer of the base dip it into clear and then I did that one more time and with my dipping powder it cures so then I'm going to put that into my lamp and cure it before buffing it and then applying top coat so then on my ring nail I'm going to be applying first a layer of white gel paint and the reason I'm using white gel paint here is because it has the perfect amount of tacky layer, at least mine does, to hold on to holographic pigment. So then with a little silicone tool, I'm going to be burnishing some really nice holochrome into that white uh, gel paint. So the white gel paint I have dries or cures pretty much without a tacky layer, but it just has this ever so slight stickiness, that it, like a rubbery feeling that it just grabs onto the powders really well. So then with clear builder gel, I'm going to be going and making stripes across the nail for the little ridges in the unicorn's horn. Now here's where this kind of comes into play. You may be noticing that I'll be having more gel tutorials in over the past month or over the next month in August. There will be more gel tutorials. And so after you do a couple of those little horn stripes, cure it or flash cure it before you move on. Um, I'm not that good with gel. As you can see, a lot of my horn ridges are sort of blending together. That is just my learning curve. I haven't worked with gel very much and I'm just kind of trying to figure it out now. I've had gel products and I just don't use them very much. But after you have all those on, make sure that you do fully cure it. So then on your index nail, I'm going to be painting my little unicorn and I'm going to start with just a black outline. So that first U shape is going to be the head and then those petal shapes are ears. And then I'm going to be adding the nice little bits of hair there. So there's the first one, the little bits of mane, and then kind of curl those down. And continue those a little bit off to the side and kind of curl that up in a little curly cue. And just sort of play with them, get them to look a little bit a little bit more even. Add another point for the horn and then I'm going to be adding the body. So here's the two front arms and I'm just going to flatten those off and then I'm going to curve the sides of the body down and around and add the back legs. Just like that and then add just little circles for the ends of the hooves and little lines on the arms for the ends of the hooves there. And then I'm going to be taking white acrylic paint and I'm going to be filling in the face of my unicorn, the ears, the legs, the body, the arms. I don't know if you really want to call them arms. They're all legs, but whatever you want to, however you want to think of them, fill in all of that with white. Same thing here. I mean, it's a unicorn. You can use whatever colors you want and really play around with it and have some fun. I just decided to go classic with the white as far as the body goes. So then I'm gonna be filling in the ears as well, just like that, make sure everything is nice and opaque. And then with the same color gels that you use on your pinky and your thumb, I'm going to be filling in first the mane with the pink, so it's the pink of the pinky, and then the teal, I'm going to be doing that in the hooves and in the horn. And if you wanted to, the other thing that I would think would look good for the horn is to use that silver um, holochrome that I used on the ring nail, but I decided that I kind of like the teal against the aqua background, so I just stuck with that. And then going back to black paint, after those have cured, I'm going to be adding two little lines for nostrils, and then little ovals for the eyes, 
And then a couple more details and fixing up my outlines from before. I also had little white highlights in the eyes just to kind of brighten them up a little bit. But then, like I said, go back over and fix any outlines that may have gotten a little mysterious. And then on the thumb, with white paint, I'm going to be writing Believe in Yourself across the nail, starting with um, going I-L-E-B, so writing it backwards across right next to the cuticle. And as you can see, I have a couple of wrinkles in this thumbnail in the gel. I'm going to explain why that happened before anybody comments and says, what are you doing? You don't know how to cure gel. I know how to cure gel. The problem is, as you could see in the beginning of the video, I have a little baby girl. And when I do my nails, I try to do them basically as fast as possible before she decides that she needs to eat or is pooping all over or is just in general upset. So I try to do this while she's napping. And I tried to hear two hands at once and my one thumbnail did not get hit by the light enough, which is why I got all wrinkly. And I decided I was just going to leave it because that's how it just, that's just how it was going to be. So that's what happened there. If anybody's curious why I have wrinkles in my thumbnail, sometimes it works to hear two hands at once and this time it just, it didn't. So there's that. So I've got believe in your, and then me writing self across the very tip of my nail. When you're doing this, um, it's quite a, that's a lot of words to fit on one nail. So instead, if you wanted to, depending on what you have on your nails, you could have done this with the, um, the unicorn on the thumb, the little unicorn uh, cartoon, and then put believe in yourself across two nails, across the index and the middle, just to kind of give yourself more space if that's what you were looking for. And then on the pinky, I'm going to put down some clear builder gel and then attach a whole bunch of rhinestones in the upper half of the nail. I've got some silver ones and some teal ones that really kind of tie the whole thing together. And that rhinestone nail, this is going to sound weird. I think that's my favorite nail in this set. I don't know what it is about these rhinestones right along the cuticle, but I love them. So I hope you guys like this design as much as I do. And please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them. And like I said, if you are a unicorn fanatic, I have many videos on them and I'll put them in the description box below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.